here, I'm Chrissy the Scottish Magpie and in this video we are going to do our mid-century modern glass. Now these are just our sold items on eBay in the last three months. Um, so we are going to go over 30 items and um, this will be generally the 50s to the 70s in date. I think there's one in the 80s. But yeah, all like that mid-century modern design. So. We will get started. Okay, so the first one is this vintage mid-century modern Italian Empoli cranberry glass, um, large apothecary jar and cover. And this one sold for $54.99, a best offer. There's no mark at the bottom, but Empoli have got like a classic style. And as we go on, you will start to see the style of Empoli. Okay, the second one on our list is a Murano Sommerso glass vase, block red, yellow Sommerso, mid-century modern Italian. This one sold for $59.99, plus four pound postage. And you can see at the base it isn't signed, um, but with Murano, a lot of the times you can tell by the base. And then you can also do image searches. Um, that helps, because sometimes it is tricky to decipher Murano and check and other studio art glass um makers number three is another vintage mid-century modern mid-century murano Smurso geode bowl and this is my one this one sold for 64.99 with postage and again murano there was no there was no signature at the base number four is this empoli Textured Tiki Vase Retro MCM Mid Century Modern, £65 plus postage. And again, you can, uh, there's no mark on the base, but it is a very similar Empoli design. Number five is this large sculptural ice blue vase. Um, it's per Lutkin, I don't know how to say that properly, and it's the Home Guard Denmark. Um, 1955. This was on an auction and it did get a bid for £65 plus postage. Now if you see at the base this one is signed so you will be able to identify it. Number six is this Rihimaki. <laughs> I'm here sorry I don't want to butcher it. Um, this was £75. This did get a bid um, so it was an auction which is which is good. Now as you can see the base there's no mark so what I would do with this because of the form of it it's very unique hopefully Google Images would pick this up. Number seven is this Costa Morales again <laughs> I'll just put it up here uh, circa 1958. Now this was on an auction four bids 85 pounds plus postage and as you can see the base is also marked so you would be able to identify it. Number eight is this Stephen Foster Stourbridge Glass um, signed vase. Now, Stourbridge um, is an area in England and it's been used for centuries to make glass in the UK. Um, French glass makers from the Lorraine region, um, they came in the 17th century because of the natural resources um, and the coal and the the fire clay for the furnaces in that area. So I'm going to put a, a photo here of the Stour Bridge. Um, it's like the cones buildings that they used. Um, it's amazing. So yes, this next one was Stephen Stour Bridge. Now an amazing glass. Now this one is signed on the base it's it's small but it is s f o s i believe so s foster you would be able to identify it number nine is this orifor's sculpture prism mid-century modern this was 149 pounds plus postage and this is signed just at the top of the base uh, at the like the top of the glass at the base. The next one, number 10, is a Dylan Clark signed art glass bowl circa 1970s. 
this was a best offer it was sitting at 150 and you can see it is signed at the base so you would be able to identify it number 11 is this barbini flame sculpture bowl modernist mcm murano submerso art glass it was on for 156.99 and it sold at a best offer you can see the base and it is just a clean polished base um, no signature number 12 is this gigantic vintage orange red and poly glass genie bottle decanter mcm italy this one is sold at auction for 200 with two bids uh, 26 pound postage and it's just got the classic Murano, uh, Murano. it has the classic um, Empoli look. Number 13, we have the White Friars Glass uh, Golden Amber Penguin, five bids, £239 plus £4.45 postage. Um, this isn't assigned at the base, but I do believe you would be able to identify this with an image search. Number 14 is the stunning Medina Axe Head Fish Art Glass Vase 1975. It sold for a best offer. Um, no, it didn't. It sold for £275 plus £9.95 postage. Um, now, this one doesn't have a picture of the base, so there is no signature that I'm aware of. But I have double checked this one purely because £275 awesome sale i would be chuffed to bits with a sale of 275 um but i think it could have been an excellent sale so i'm just going to quickly put up some more of these axe head vases that have got a signature of michael harris and i'll show you the prices that they can achieve so whether this one was a michael harris piece i'm not sure there was no photo of the base so it was hard to identify but I think whoever bought this for 250 could have possibly got a hell of a deal um, if this was found to be a Michael Harris piece. So, Number 15 is a Pauline, Pauline Solvin 1977 British Studio Art Glass Vase, £275. Um, and you can see this is an absolutely unique and stunning piece and there at the base it is signed it's a bit blurry but there is a signature there number 16 is the seguso vetri de arte Murano Sommerso uranium glass bottle vase by pinzoni 300 pounds on auction one bid 10 pounds postage now you can see how much this this thing glows from its original form and this is piece is stunning so put your first photo of it glowing you know as the main photo in your listing um this piece was amazing and a great great buy 300 pounds so the seguso you will find a lot of Murano pieces as seguso the seguso family have been making glass on the island of Murano since 1397 there you go I made a note of it they are one of the most esteemed glassmakers on the island so you will find Seguso pieces um, and they have a large following for the family next we have a Seguso again mid-century modern Italian Murano glass aquarium 1950s one bid 300 pounds plus 20 pounds postage for this piece absolutely stunning Number 18, we have Antonio de Ross Sommerso Uranium Sculpture. It's in the form of a, like a glass mask. It's amazing. £399.99, free postage. Um, you can see the base. I can't really see a signature in that photo, but it's a very unique piece. So you will be able to identify it. Okay, number 19, we have this rare Whitefriars 1970 orange studio vase by Peter Wheeler, £425 with £15 postage. And there's the base, no signature. Number 19, next we have oh, the Whitefriars drunken bricklayer by Jeffrey Baxter, Tango Orange Vase, a classic, classic mid-century modern piece. Um, £430 plus postage, um, stunning. These pieces won't be signed at the base, um, the White Friars, but you 
they are a classic classic form and texture and they will have usually a, the polished out pontal that you can see in that photo there number 21 we have the 1960s archimede seguso opal pink murano glass clamor shell a centerpiece bowl 440 pounds with free postage um and i can't really see a signature there there won't probably won't be a signature there um, but yeah, you will be able to identify that with an image with an image search. Number twenty two is a superb Aura Force Scandinavian crystal glass cracker vase, Sven. Four hundred and sixty pounds plus a fifteen postage, and as you can see on the base, it is signed again at the very edge. Number twenty three is this White Friars clear glass cello vase. £500 plus 5 pounds plus 555 postage. Now this did have a drilled hole as you can see there and I'm not sure if this was put into a lamp at some point but it's still a, a crack and sell. Number 24 is this very rare Sign Murano Ballerine Marine. It's a Milfiore vase. Um, it's absolutely stunning. £695 but it was a best offer, free postage and it is signed at the base. You can see there is a signature there. Number 25 is a Rachel Woodman beveled glass bowl 1985. This is the one from the 80s that I put in. Um, £700. Absolutely stunning. Um, that's it from the side and as you can see it is signed at the base as well. Number 26 is this very rare early Wedgwood glass Sheringham five disc candle holder in green, £749.99. And as you can see, it is acid stamped Wedgwood England at the base. Number 27, we have a rare Whitefriars Peacock Studio range glass vase, Peter Wheeler, circa 1969. It was a best offer. Um, originally sat at £795 with £14.99 shipping and there is the base. I can't really see a signature on that one but it's a very unique looking piece. Number 28 is this Aurifor's Large Ariel Glass Vase by Ollie something. 1979 signed best offer but it was sitting at 875 pounds with a 26 and 75 pence postage and as you can see the base is signed number 29 we're down to our final two here we have a super rare aubergine white fryers cucumber vase jeffrey baxter excellent condition a thousand pounds with 555 postage absolutely stunning there's no photograph of the base, it won't be signed, it will have the similar Whitefriars base that I have shown in, in the previous sales. And number 30, was there anyone else it was going to be? This is a Whitefriars Nuts and Bolts vase, yellow. £2,000 with 5.55 postage, I think it was the same seller. Absolutely stunning, absolutely brilliant and very unique for us to remember what to look out for in glass forms, glass colours, all these things but could quite easily blend in the background somewhere where someone wasn't aware of it, it's not marked. So these are brilliant to keep in our brains, you know. Also the Whitefriars Banjo Vase, um, I'm going to put a photo up there. I think that's one of the best ones you can find. So, so just remember that all these sold items were from the UK only. So there is a lot of glass out there that's selling worldwide but these are just UK sales so I, I was just particular about what the UK are selling. Um, so and I'm also only covering a few decades so we're going from the 50s and there was one in the 80s but there was mainly 50s to 70s so you're talking a 20 year for major for literally 29 of those items was 50s to 70s. So there's a lot of other decades that I'm desperate to go over. So, you know, we've got the Georgian glass, Victorian glass, Art Nouveau, Art Deco, all these periods where when I was doing the sold research, oh, 
there's so many I wanted to put on this list, but they just weren't the mid-century modern, like retro looking ones that, that we're after just for this video. But that video will definitely be coming. Um, so yeah, and also in these older decades, you have the makers like Lalique and Dalm and all these amazing, amazing makers that we have to we have to go over over these makers so and anyway, i hope you enjoyed the video i'm so sorry it took so long to come out um but i will be doing a jewelry sale video next time that will be the next video to come out so i have a big bag of jewelry it's somewhere somewhere up here and it's plenty to make it at least you know four to six good decent bundles of jewellery so I'll do that little video it won't be long and they'll only it's only jewellery so it's only you know the jewellery lovers that would would watch that one um and then I have to do a thrift haul because I've thrifted and got a few nice pieces and then we'll do the other research video so yeah it's a bit of a mixed bag you know me I pretty much wing it <laughs> but thank you so much for watching um I hope you've all had a brilliant week thrifting and have had some good finds um and I will be uploading again soon I promise I promise I will